this is Jim Reynolds, and thank you for viewing this video. And for more information or other video, please visit redneckriches.com. Hey there, Jim Reynolds here, and we're inside of the uh, Freehostia control panel. I've logged in. This is uh, where you end up when you log in. You have a lot of different controls here. And one of the first things we're going to do temporarily is uh, to be able to use this website that we now have hosted this domain name, your domain name, that you now have hosted free for one whole year. And you can renew it after that. But in any case, we want to take this free website and begin to make it useful in a very simple way um, and then begin to add more to it. But simply right now, after I have created my free hosting account, change the DNS or domain name servers. After I have done that, if I use my domain name, which is hosted free here at free host to you, redneckwealth.com, it will go to an empty empty place because it's empty. Everything here is just, there's nothing here. So I want to add something, a very simple something to this so that I can make redneckwealth.com show something if I were to advertise that web address of redneckwealth.com or and we want to be able and if you follow along you'll be able to show something when somebody goes to your domain name and we're going to do something really simple here actually what this is going to be is is called a redirect we're going to redirect our domain name to a site of our choosing and um, so we can then use it for advertising purposes we want to expand this of course and uh, we'll do that in subsequent videos that are to come but I want you to be able to use this as quickly as possible and make it useful for you because right now there's really nothing there I don't want to leave you in that position so I'm going to go here in the uh, site management section which is the first section on this page and this is right after you log in find the file manager so we'll go to the file manager first and the, when you first go to the file manager you're going to see the uh, your domain name and you want to get inside of that you don't want to create anything here you want to get inside of redneck your your do, your domain name mine happens to be redneckwealth.com so I'm going to click this to go inside of it almost like a folder on your computer this is like a folder on your website your website is almost like a computer really sitting out in cyberspace that other people around the world via the World Wide Web can access. So anybody in the world can go to redneckwealth.com, www.redneckwealth.com and see what's there. And currently, until I make this change, there's nothing there. So I want to get inside this folder. So to do that, I'm just going to click right here and then it's just empty. There's nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to create an empty file. So I'm going to check this right here. And I want to create a file inside of that folder. Now this is the main folder. We'll talk more about creating other things later. But what we want to do now is put a file inside of this. And in order to make redneckwealth.com go to something, I need what is called an index file in here. I-N-D-E-X dot html that's very important that's index dot html and I want to just click create file index has been created and in fact I can scroll down now and inside this area where there was nothing there is my index dot html now there's nothing on that file so we're, we're not through yet but that is the file now that will make something work. It would, in other words, if I go to redneckwealth.com, they're going to see something uh, after I add something to this file. Now, right across from this file to the right of it is, is several little things. The one that we want to uh, look at is right here. It's editing this file. So I'm going to click this. And it opens up and says, open with a, what you see is what you get editor. No, I want to go with the plain editor. Open with plain text editor. 
so that's the one you want to use the second choice okay so I'm going to do that just click that and it's going to open up this little new window and it's completely empty now at the bottom of it and in my window I had I had to actually in my window I had to do this I had to actually stretch the bottom because the scroll bars don't work on this window on my computer it, m it might not on yours so you, but you can stretch the window to see this save and close at the bottom because we're going to need that save button all right and up in here you can see the the, the very thin lines let me ease this camera over here. Up in here you can see the very thin lines right here. Now this is where we want to use the code that you should have that is right below this video. If you're watching this in the membership area, right below the video is a code that we're going to use. And we're going to make the code so that we actually, it's called a redirect code. We're going to redirect our domain name, in my case, redneckwealth.com to somewhere else and this code is uh, very very simple and it w as I said it's right below the uh, video here there's a text area where you can just go in left click to highlight the whole code right click to copy it from the from the text area below the video and then you simply paste that code right in here simply paste the code right in here now the part of the code that creates the activity of redirecting it somewhere else is right here where it says frame source equals and then it's got the HTTP it's got a web address and the web address that I'm using is my unselfish wealth web address but keep in mind I could make this go to any website I want I want you to learn that but you know I am going to, I could go to google.com, whatever I put here, www, whatever I put it after that frame source is where it's going to go. In our case, I want to go to unselfishwealth.com forward slash question mark ID equals two, which is my unselfish wealth website. And another thing you can change is the title if you want you can adjust the title right there but don't mess with any of the little t other things don't mess with any of the other little tags here as long as you just ad adjust the frame source web you know, ID equals and be sure you don't mess with the quotation marks those quotation marks are important so once I've done that all I need to do is come down here to save because that code's ready to go it's going to go to my unselfish wealth page. I'll click save. And it'll tell me at the top that the file has been saved successfully. And the file says what I want it to say. So I can simply close this out. And now, also I can close this out. in my address bar and type in www.redneckwealth.com and let's see if our redirect works. If this works it should go to my unselfish wealth page and it does. My unselfish wealth page. Now you'll notice up here that this also does something pretty cool in that it hides mask my affiliate link to unselfish wealth it'll do that for you that that particular code is is very useful and we just simply created a file and put that code in there now the way that I know it's my file or my page is because if I go down here to the start start the tour join now and click it goes to my name and even when I do that, I want you to notice, I know I'm moving the camera around a lot, but it still hides that domain name. It still hides the affiliate link. 
but it does not interfere with people taking the tour, going to my Unselfish Wealth page. So, so that you can use your free hosting account, put it to work immediately using it to redirect it to one of your pages, one of your affiliate links, or one of your business pages that you want. And of course, we're going to add more to this free hosting account so that you can even make more use of it. But that's the quickest use of it, is to make it so you can redirect. And we'll do more. But we'll end this video now. That is how to put your free hosting to work immediately using it to redirect it to one of your business or affiliate pages.